everyone, welcome to P2 Plays. Before we get into the deck profile today, a quick note. At the time, we recorded this deck profile before the tournament had even started. When the tournament started, Trenton had made some changes to make his deck more for going second. You can find those changes down in the description down below. And with that, hope you enjoy this deck profile. Hello everyone, welcome to P2 Plays. We got Trenton Smith, a well-known player here. He, of course, you've ever seen our stream? Our Yu-Gi-Oh streams. He's of course well known for his Magic Key uh, build, which I actually did play a while back and I actually have on Master Duel as well. And now his 60 card Ritual Pile deck, which he wants to give us a deck profile of. So we'll give it away to Trenton. All right, thanks Tyler. So I've been working on this a while ever since Magic Key came out because it's the first Ritual Tuner. And I've just kind of had fun ever since. And now that Libromancers are out, I kind of mixed the two and it's been a beautiful disaster. <laughs> so I'll just get right into it. First, three fire, pretty staple yeah, for Libromancer engine. I'm playing 60 cards, so I am playing three Geek Boy. And for um, recyclability, I am playing Agent. And then, uh, for hand trap bait, I'm playing the three enchantress and two wandering griffin rider for the adventure package. It's great hand trap bait. And if you end up sighting Cypher Gamma, it turns driver into a vanilla that you can dump since this makes a token uh, for the match key engine. Mm -hmm. And I am playing Punk Engine, three Foxy Tune, one Zay Almond, and one Deer Note. Probably not for what you think, though. Mostly, like the three Foxy Tune, it's because I want the discard outlet. And I will explain that in a bit. I'm also playing Incantations, Candle, and Talismandra, because. I, I want more, but these bricks so hard. So it's really rough. And so, uh, I managed to get it down to at least these two, okay. and slime's just amazing. So no more pencil plume then? Nope, nope. Uh, I took out uh, mech mortar, uh, glasser. Okay. Oh yeah, glasser. I'm playing rose dragon engine just because it synergizes with punk adventure. Why not? I mean, it's mm -hmm. great. Uh, I'm playing a small souls package just because the ritual it's a ritual package and it's great and ironically the discard off of this is what i want and you'll the, all the discarding will make sense in a bit um i am playing jet and scythe this is a partial scythe lock deck but it's more so a plan b with just like liberal mancer's plan b supposedly um, just because, like, how summoning Jet, it, it's Scythlock by itself. Mm -hmm. um, I'm playing one Diviner because I'm playing Benton. And although it does conflict with Adventure, sometimes seeing it by itself is, it's good. It's just good. And then because I'm playing Magic Keys, the one Math Teal. Math Teal's mm -hmm. amazing. Whether he be an extender, even though you don't get his effect from the adventure token, it, it still is an extender. And this plus the token goes into Firmine, which is the match key synchro. I've, I've, I've sold some, but they're. So uh, now we're going to the rituals, which is three slime, two illusion, one Beto. One Liberal Mancer Doom Broker, who's just as good as Beto, but Beto's slightly better because he's a tuner. <laughs> and then Benton. That's it for the monsters. For the spells, I've got consistency with three prep, three e telly. Th this thing never should have came back. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm sure you've heard it more than enough. It never should have came back. Three Libermanster first appearance. Uh, I'm 
debating on cutting Geek Boy and this to two, just so I can fit in going second stuff, because as you'll notice, it's a, I don't have any go second stuff in this. It's a problem. <laughs> But I maxed out on consistency instead. So uh, three Magic Key World, the one Math T. I am playing the one Math T because I wanted as many opportunities to shuffle back Candall and Talismandra as possible because mm -hmm. Candall is always stuck to my hand. It's annoying. Um, three right, two fateful, one Draco back. I am playing two fateful and two Griffin because there's times where the grind game comes up and it ends up worth it. And then there's also times where if you send fateful and Draco back off souls, you'll at least have a follow up with a second fateful <laughs> and a second Griffin. It has come up before. Uh, the one ofs. No. Basil Rose shoot. Terraforming because the field spells. Foolish as another enchantress for hand trap bait. Set rotation because field spells. And this actually has a unique uh, application going first, even. So you use this set two field spells, and if you draw the adventure engine, Draco back and bounce the other field spell, and you now have access to both. <laughs> it's a really neat interaction. And then Incantation Inception. Because it's just necessary for the Incantation engine. Magic Key Unlocking. And Libromancer Intervention, which are the two traps that I play to counter Dark Ruler No More and Droplet, and boy does it come up, and I have screwed up because I could have set them, but I didn't, and it cost me the game, literally. I don't know how many times that's come up now. But that's it for the main deck. Uh, here in a bit, I will explain about the discarding parts of the deck. Mm -hmm. I totally did this backwards. <laughs> Alright, so the extra deck. I'm playing Link Karibo for the one card, um, well, one card Hulk, Scythe Lock, because Jet going to this and then bring Jet back going to Dagda. Uh, Hulk, Dagda, of course. Um, IP Mascarena because it's just good. It's just good. It, it's a good link to the go into Unicorn and Interrupt. Uh, I'm playing Dark as a uh, access code package because after all my uh, gas, if I could just go straight into access code with one card even, it's really good, and sometimes I don't have the extra gas without Selene. Speaking of Selene, there's Selene. And then I play Unicorn with Mascarena, mm -hmm. and I play Ningirsu. So I had one spot left in the extra deck that I couldn't figure out what to do with. And I was talking to uh, one of my friends, and he suggested that I need an out for Boral In of all cards, <laughs> Boral and Dragon, because I don't have an out. And we came up, this was the out. I mean, but, it's a very good out. Yeah, and it's just generic towers out. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, access code. That's it for the links. And for the synchros, I play the one Herald, because it's just uber good. Wonder Magician for Scythe Lock. Chaos Ruler. I love this card. I do. It's much better than I gave it credit for. And it's mostly because with Jet back, this can go into Red Hot very easily now. And whenever you pair Red Hot with Intervention, it becomes just a way to get around Dark Ruler no more even. Or even Droplet if they can't uh, do anything about it. Um, one Baron just because good negate. And then the one Magic Key for a mine. <clears throat> so... Now, to talk about the discarding aspect, this thing, 
So, I have figured out that instead of having Chalice Slime and a Ritual Monster, that if you have Chalice Slime plus Discard Outlet, it's much better because a Discard Outlet is much easier to achieve. So, you do Chalice Slime, Special Candle, search this thing, discard this, and then use its Grave Effect. Send Candle, Special Talisman, add this to hand, add your ritual that you're going to summon, and just a free ritual summon. All right, that's actually really neat. Yes, yes. And it took me realizing that Punk Engine is just phenomenal with that idea. And then you combine that with the Adventure Engine, which is just straight hand trap bait. I mean, come on. It's just great. Yep. Oh, that's all I got, because it's phenomenal. You'll just have to test it out to see all the synergies, because it's almost big brain. Almost big brain. I mean, we had you on the OTS 19 tournament showing it off. Looked real big brain from all the uh, plays you made and all that. Yeah, game one, I did screw up because I, I, out of habit, I just discarded Draco back and I needed to discard this thing to continue. Basically, what happens is Yeah, big whoops. <laughs> <laughs> well, we thank you, Trent, for uh, showing off this deck profile. Uh, any last words for anyone who wants to pick up the deck, try it out, you know, really get into its combos? Um, it seems expensive, and but it could probably live without the Adventure Engine if you really need to. It's just the Adventure Engine just adds a layer of hand trap bait. <laughs> so you'll end up hitting walls faster without Adventure Engine. Um, if you do pick it up and you want to try it out, test. Test the hands a crap ton because you will think you have every line of play figured out and you won't. <laughs> Because I'm still doing test hands and I'm still finding little niche plays. Uh, Magician Souls sends this cost. You send this puppy. They can't do anything about it. Yeah, let them hand trap souls. It just it gives you access to the Inception if uh, you had to search it off candle. It's just, it, it's the little things that matter. All right. Well, any uh, last words of advice for, for anyone, you know, YGO players or anything like that, or anyone who wants to come down to locals, you know, play Yu-Gi-Oh, anything like that. Okay. Uh, make sure you know your deck and make sure you stay your phases. Those are two big things that will get you in trouble. If you don't know your combo lines, you could get called for slow play. And if you don't state your phases, issues will arise. And if you try to do something in the wrong phase and your opponent knows, then they're going to catch you on it and you'll just be revealing information that you didn't need to reveal. Um, and uh, last words, I want to give a shout out to Tyler, my man here, because he's, he's a great content creator. I've been watching his streams and they're just great. And I want to thank him very much for this deck profile because I don't get to do this very often at all. No, no, thank you also, Trin, um, especially when back in the day with Magic Keys when I was able to get that profile and play that around. So we thank you all. Let us know down in the comments any other questions you want to ask Trenton, anything else about the deck or anything you just want to ask about the locals. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. And we'll see you here next time on P2Plays. Mm -hmm.